Recently, Max and Min were helping their dad tidy up their garage by throwing away stuff that was no longer needed, like the old VHS cassettes and the fax machine. The twins had no idea what they were. Their dad pointed out two flat sheets of plywood that were about the same size but a different shape and said, I would like to keep whichever plywood sheet is bigger, but I don't know which one is. Can you work it out for me, kids? Here's a pack of cards. And he gave them the cards and walked away. Max and Min looked at each other, a bit confused. They had used the cards many times before, playing fun games like Snap and Go Fish, but they had never used cards to measure and compare sheets of wood before. Min remembered their mum telling them once that finding the size of a flat surface, like the plywood, is finding its area. After discussing the cards and area, Max and Min knew what they had to do. Do you know how to use cards to measure and compare areas? Pause this video if you need more time to think about it. Well, Max put the first plywood sheet on the floor, then Min placed the cards side by side, without gaps, over the surface of the plywood, until almost its whole area was covered. It took 48 cards altogether, 6 rows of 8 cards. Max then put the other plywood sheet on the floor and Min took the cards and again placed them side by side without gaps until almost the whole area of the second plywood sheet was covered by the cards. This time it took 49 cards altogether, 7 rows of 7 cards. So Min, said Max, the second plywood sheet is bigger by the area of one more card. Good job! When they told their dad, he was very pleased to find out his children were so clever. He asked them a question. What if I wanted to compare the size of two bedrooms? Cards are too small to measure such large areas. You would need way too many. What else could I use? What about large sheets of cardboard? Answered Min. Or pages from a large newspaper? Added Max. Both of those sound good to me, replied their dad. You two are geniuses. And they all laughed. Practice measuring and comparing the area of objects or places, such as floors or tabletops or book covers, using cards or sheets of A4 paper or large pages of newspaper. You can watch this video again or try the quiz and look at the chart that comes with this video.